The cells in your ear are involved in detecting and directing sound waves and translating them so that your brain can allow you to hear. Sound waves are collected by the outer ear and funneled onto the eardrums where they are amplified by ossicles, tiny bones in the middle ear. The sounds are now ready to be translated in the cochlea into nerve impulses, the language of the brain. The cochlea in the inner ear contains a structure called the organ of corti, which plays a critical role in hearing. It lies on the surface of the basilar membrane and extends the length of the cochlea. At one end of the organ of corti, the membrane is narrow and stiff and vibrates in response to high pitches. The other end is wider and more flexible and vibrates most in response to deeper sounds. Outer hair cells act to amplify the incoming sound impulses. Inner hair cells convert mechanical stimulation into electrical signals. Sound vibrations rock the organ of corti and the microvilli tilt. The tilting causes ion channels to open in the membranes of the microvilli. And this allows potassium and calcium ions to enter the cell. Positive ions entering the cell cause a receptor potential, which opens calcium ion channels. The calcium ions trigger a release of neurotransmitters, which diffuse across the space from hair cell to receptors on nerve fibres, generating an action potential in the auditory nerve and causing electric impulses to travel to the brain. The auditory nerve is a bundle of nerve fibres carrying information from the inner ear to the brain. One of its branches is involved in hearing and the other branch is involved in balance. The brain takes this informational input and interprets it. For instance, the brain detects a sound as louder if more hair cells are activated in an area. One reason scientists are working to understand more about how we hear is to be able to help people with hearing difficulties. The loss of hair cells is the most common cause of hearing loss in older people. Scientists at Stanford University School of Medicine have successfully used mouse embryonic stem cells to create cells that display many of the properties of delicate inner hair cells. Researchers are applying similar techniques to human cells in the hope of being able to transplant these delicate hair cells into ears to restore hearing.